हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय न्यू वीडियो सो सॉरी फॉर अ बिग गैप टू अपलोड सो मेनी वीडियोस ओके सो टुडे वी विल स्टार्ट विथ द रेप ऑफ द लॉक Uh, this text is prescribed under Bardhaman University for the third semester English honor student. So today we will discuss a little bit about the background and some different aspect of the text. So before analyzing the text, I will talk a little bit uh, that the text is pres prescribed. Uh, only in canto 1 and canto 3 not the whole text you will not find the whole text only you have to study uh, canto 1 uh, as well as canto 3 okay so there is a, a little uh, background uh, historical background the story was that uh, was like that uh, John Carroll okay I will I am showing you the summary of the poem but the most interesting fact is that the rape of the lock is a mock epic poem you can also say it as a mock heroic pro poem as a mock heroic poem now the question is that what is mock epic or mock heroic poem or mock heroic narrative poem generally a um, heroic poem uh, 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 epic poem an epic poem is based on the powerful villain powerful hero based on powerful hero who uh, naturally fights uh, with the evil but there is this the the rape of the lock do you think uh, that it is a in this in this title the title is so much uh, a lit, uh, so much important why the rape of the lock the rape does not imply here a serious offense but the rape here implies the rape of a lock of the ladies here the lady is Arabella farmer the story has originated from the has originated uh, from the story a little story the story was that was like that John Carroll request Alexander Pope John Carroll was the friend of um, Alexander Pope request uh, Pope to write such a uh, hilarious uh, epic poem hilarious sorry uh, it cannot be a hilarious poem it rather it is it can be said a mock epic poem to write a poem to have a reconciliation between two family Arabella farmer family and uh, the sorry I am forgetting the name uh, Lord Petri Lord Petri so there was a quarreling between two family the, lo the family of Lord Petri and the family of Arabella farmer so for what reason the quarreling has uh, quarreling uh, was going on the story is that lord petri likes arabella farmer and he gives a proposal to arabella farmer about his love but arabella farmer very quickly uh, rejects his proposal and that's why Lord Petri gets angry. Uh, I am talking about the uh, story, the the background 
the background story because in order to understand the whole poem the mock epic poem you need to understand the background of the poem so i am telling the background so let's let us move on so there was lord petri uh, i think i hope uh, you the students of my channel uh, can see the screen lord petri okay lord petri so what was going on then there was a there starts a quarrel between two family about this fact then john carroll request pope here you see the screen i think i hope you see the screen pope's friend john carroll request pope to write a mock epic poem a poem in order to have a reconciliation a funny ending kisher jonno mane kobita tai bola hoy mane kobita ta likhte kena bolechilen jate eta dekhe dui poribarer hashi pai ebong je bibad ta cholchilo she bibad ta jeno mite jay tar jonno pope ei kobita ta likhechen but as the poem is going on uh, the whole poem if you if if you want to analyze the poem you will find that the whole poem the entire poem uh, is actually mocking the fashionable uh, fashionable woman of 18th century society the aristocratic life aristocratic life of the woman has been criticized by this poem actually pope uh um, actually pope while writing this uh, poem actually unconsciously satirizing the 18th century society 18th century fashionable society so this poem can be called as a mirror of 18th century fashionable society the poem also can be called a uh, satire on 18th century fashionable society you will also find a sexual implication in this poem sexual implication there are there are different aspects of the poem the so this is the poem the background of the poem now the poem when the poem starts uh, at the very beginning of the poem you will find that belinda is sleeping on her bed and her her dog her pet dog tries to wake her okay mm, then you will also find in canto 1 belinda's dream the whole canto 1 is actually uh revealing belinda's dream what is going on in belinda's dream the canto 1 of the rape of the lock is showing to us the ho- the belinda's dream you will find belinda's dream in canto 1 then in canto 3 you will find the climax and the game of ombar in canto 1 then you will find that uh, mm, Belin, uh, belinda's guardian self eliel eliel comes in her dream and warns her that some ominous or something evil will befall with her before the sunset but as soon as belinda wakes from her dream dream the dream in and the dream uh, given by the by the guardian self totally obliterate from obliterate is obliterate from her mind belinda totally forgotten her for forgotten has forgotten her dream then belinda is belinda is uh, sorry belinda goes to her uh, toilet toilet room uh, Uh, you will be all you will also be asked a five marks question on toilet scene so this toilet scene uh, as a five marks question is very much important and you can also uh, prepare a 10 marks question on it okay 
while I am discussing uh, the poem, I am I am also illustrating some probable questions, uh, rather uh, or five marks or some ten marks. Okay, so then uh, what happens? I am just giving a brief overview, plot overview of the poem. Then uh, Belinda goes to her toilet room, where she has ha has been decorating. Uh, sorry, she has been decorating herself. She has been decorated by the by her by her um, um, servant Betty, and you will also find you will also see that the Ariel, um, her guardian self is also helping her to decorate her. Okay, then Belinda goes to the um, uh, Hampton Court to celebrate uh, party. there the climax will be occur so this is the whole story i am just briefly talk about the whole story then in the next class oh sorry one thing uh, i should remember you i should uh, i should remember that uh, before going on to the text into the text you have to read the letter written by pope Okay, so today I will end the class here. If you have any questions, please uh, post it in my comment section, and please post uh, your demand according to your demand. It will be helpful for me to upload so many videos on English honor students, accord and uh, as well as the students who are weak in English grammar. Thank you. Thanks for watching.